Hello America, this video is for Christopher Titus, the Canadian. I just wanted to give you a message um, because it's important to thank people. And I wanted to tell you that I think you're a really funny person and I really appreciate your humor and your life experiences. I'm such a crybaby today. <laughs> Um, I watched your comedy for the first time in 2011, yeah, and I had just finished basic training and my army medic training, and, um, so six months into the army, and I watched Love is Evil, and I laughed so hard I fell off the couch. And I cannot remember a time that I had laughed so hard. I had just left a very abusive marriage. And my growing up years were very difficult. So, like, your part of your skit on that Love is Evil where you talk about the woman that's chasing you with the knife. Oh my goodness. Or, like, your ex-wife. Or your, when she was your wife, like, the stuff she did, like, oh my goodness. You have other, other skits where, like, I just die laughing. Like, there's no one else that can get me going like you can. Um, you come from, when we come from these really messed up places, it's true, you know, like, I love the way you make, you find the humor in it, like it's truly a gift that God has given you. And, um, but I did listen to an account where you were making fun of your mother's death and, um, made me cry. Um, I'm really glad that you don't have any of the problems that your mother has. Um, not to say that you haven't been affected by a dysfunctional family. I prayed about... I was so upset when I listened to you talk and try to make light of your mom, which is what you do well. I couldn't listen to it anymore um, because of things that have occurred in my life. I wanted to tell you, I want you to know that your mother is only accountable to what she has the ability to be accounted for. Many times with mental illness, people have only the ability like a child. And God, God is compassionate with weakness, and He punishes us for rebellion only. And with weakness, we have the opportunity to repent. And I believe that your mother had those op had or have or will have those opportunities to repent. And um, I definitely encourage you to as I encourage others and have done so and did so for my brother. My brother committed suicide to pray for your mother if you have not already done so because I did sense anger in you. Anger results from fear and perhaps that fear is that your mother, your mother leaving you or that your mother is not in a good place. But that I would hope you forgive your mother and that it's not her fault and that you will recognize at some point that it is many things in this life are a result of our mortality, that some things cannot be helped, the weakness of the body or weakness of this world. And um, there have been many things placed upon you that should not have been. Um, 
I, um, I encourage you to pray for your mom. And um, I heard once that you might have been or your family were members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And I would definitely encourage you to seek that out again. Or seek that out. And make that a part of your life and to do your mother's work. I know it's crazy, right? I can't believe I would even say such things, but definitely um, know that these that this will all be dissected and criticized but this is from my heart and um, it was very hard for me to hear what you had to say about your mother I wish you well, and you are one person I would like to meet someday. I think you're really funny, and um, definitely a special person, and um, I wish you well.